What's up, y'all? Got a banger from the wall. Let's get straight into it. My husband told me he wanted a divorce. My husband and I have been married for eight years, but we've been together 12 years. And this has never been a problem in our marriage whatsoever. My little girl is- It's like in the modern woman handbook to do the get ready with me while talking about your ex-husband or your man. Shots fired! Shots fired! Like, what is this? Where do these modern women get this starter pack? to dairy and my little boy has a dairy and gluten intolerance naturally as a family we have just gone dairy free and gluten free i am a big believer that food is wait, wait, medicine. please don't tell me she's gonna say she's gonna break off this relationship because she can't have milk <laughs> <laughs> come on please don't let it go there we have eaten organic and just more wholesome foods now i've never told my husband that he needed to eat this way and i don't care if people eat this way or not and my husband has gone along with this the whole time my husband came home and he had this huge bag of groceries and he said on the counter and i looked inside of it and right. there are 20 boxes of fruit roll-ups wait fruit roll-ups you guys know what to do with fruit roll-ups don't you Come on now. I was so confused and I said, why did you buy these fruit roll-ups? And he said, you know, I'm sick and tired of living this way. I don't want to do it anymore. And I do want a divorce. Oh, Listen, nobody's a prisoner here. You know, talk this out. Let's go back to therapy. I feel like this is a workable situation. We proceeded to tell me it's not. And that Ooh. the next thing he's going to buy is fruit gushers. In that moment, I could feel myself getting angry and I'm going to walk away from the situation. And when I got up from the table, I woke up from the table. Wait, wait, wait. So she actually wanted the divorce? You know what I mean? Like, where is she going with this? Cocaine is a hell of a drug. The modern woman. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, this is what you there wanted. You talk about you wanted it. Then you said you woke up from a dream. Divorces him over. It's like, bro, what? Because he got fruit roll-ups? Bro, wh where in the middle school ideology do you women get this stuff? This this stuff absolutely blows me away. Like, you dream about getting divorced from your husband? Isn't that, a, isn't that to me, that's a red flag. Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the chat. Like, if a girl's dreaming about, like, divorcing you, I think that's a red flag. That's got to be a red flag. A fair story time. Wow. Cheated on my husband of 14 le years and lost him forever. Good for you. My husband of 14 years and lost him forever. And she's mid. Shots fired. Shots fired. She looks like one of my aunts. This is long, but it's something I need to get off my chest. My husband, 36 male, and I, 36 female, have been together for 16 years and married for 14. We have two daughters who are 13. Maybe this ain't about her, dude. My bad. <laughs> and 12. About three months ago, I cheated on him with my coworker once, and mm. I immediately regretted it. <laughs> To be honest, I still haven't figured out the real reason why I cheated on the surface. The reason would be that my husband was too caught up with work for a couple of months and I felt neglected and unappreciated at times. Here's what grinds my gears is these women want men to go out and provide and give them a good life and have a whole bunch of money. Here's the thing, ladies. If you want a lot of our time, we can't make a lot of money. If you want a lot of our money, you don't get a lot of our time. Like this concept is so foreign. This is why we should teach women what to expect like, like women are taught at an early age what to expect from a man, but they're never taught what a man expects from them. If they could understand this concept at an early age, fellas, if you have daughters, please teach them this concept. Yeah, they need to be treated good. Cool. Maybe not like a princess because then they're entitled. But if they, if they know what to expect from a man, they also need to know what a man expects from them. So we got to start teaching this stuff. I know that this isn't the real reason, so I'm trying to figure it out through individual counseling. I only cheated on him that one time and oh. immediately told him the next day because I couldn't bottle up my guilt and shame. Just once. He was shocked at first, but then went on to call me the most horrid names. Uh oh. I deserved oh, it. I deserved it a lot more than that. I don't even know how it got to the point of me sleeping with my coworker. It started with innocent flirting and before I knew it, I made the worst mistake of my life by sleeping with him. I wish I'd gotten hit by a car the day before sleeping with him. I cut off all contact with my coworker and Too gave up now. my phone to my husband. I wanted to reassure him that I was willing to make this work on his terms. But ladies, we don't want to have to sit there and go to your phone. We want to trust you enough to not go through your phone. But gents, you, you want to rile up a conversation, go through your girlfriend, see, see who she's Snapchatting. 
go through a phone. Terms. Whatever they were, as long as he would give me another chance. Even never th- give another, never give a, a cheating woman another chance. Ever. Ever. So in my heart, I knew that I wanted another chance to prove myself. I told him that I would understand if he went through with a divorce. Anyways, I told my husband that I would do anything to regain his trust and express my sorrow and regret for having hurt him so much. Let me, let me know in the comments, what would a woman have to do to regain your trust after cheating on you? Stupid. I've got the real answer. It's nothing. She can't do anything. Go back to the streets. That's all you can do. She's a runner. She's a track star. That's all you can do. My husband has always been the type of guy to give a person only one chance. Even in his friendships. If the trust had been broken, he wouldn't give the other person another chance. He said that he wanted a divorce, but then the whole quarantine thing happened and he stayed in the house for about two months and brothers as soon as there's infidelity <laughs> yeah man as soon as as soon as she cheats bro you gotta you gotta she's gotta go straight to the streets buddy it's just how it is i know the modern dating scene sucks but so does getting hurt physically have you ever been the victim of a personal injury case every year as an image consultant i meet so many different types of clients and a lot of them are recovering from injuries or accidents ranging from car accidents to workplace injuries and i was extremely surprised to see how many people lost their personal injury cases which is why i'm here to talk about morgan and morgan America's largest injury law firm. They specialize in a wide variety of personal injury cases, and they have won thousands of big cases. And if you do end up working with them, they will fight for the money you deserve. Just recently, Morgan & Morgan secured verdicts of $12 million in Florida and $26 million in Philly. That's up to 40 times the highest insurance offer. And I'm telling you, your case could be worth millions. And the best part is it's all free unless you win your case. If you have also been a victim of a personal injury or a serious accident, you can visit www.forthepeople.com slash Levi. Found in the description below where you can start your free claim today. Let's see what like the, the wall victim, has to say. But don't Let's see what the wall has to say about this. Be fooled. I'm saying this right now because the victim is not her. The victim is the husband two daughters and 14 years of life together. Mm. This was not an unfaithful man. He was a good man. Let's get the likes she up. She cheats on her husband because she felt neglected. Mm-hmm. She doesn't know what happened because he was busy for a few months and she wanted attention. The worst of reasons, she needs attention. We all know that women are emotional and make decisions based only on emotions. She knew she made that decision. This is not a case of, I didn't know what I was doing. Yeah. Yeah, she just wanted to feel warm and fuzzy on the inside. I just want to feel like a woman again. I want him to love me for me. I really want him to, just, I want to feel special. This is that whole Disneyland princess stuff. Somebody want a carrot? Free. Sit. Wait. Free. Go to your place. This is that whole Disneyland princess where women just want to feel special and what one guy won't do another guy will this is why if you're if your girl is at work with another dude and she's giving him a lot of attention and time this is a, this is bad this is really bad because eventually she's going to start feeling validated from this guy's feelings and then she's going to want to be with this man that's just how it goes months and didn't proceed with the divorce right, uh, the good. gossip coming from someone else here we go you tell him yourself but let's continue. Months and didn't proceed with the divorce. For the first month, he treated me very coldly. Good man. And the only time we talked was when it had to do with our daughters. I slept on the couch and tried to give him as much space as he needed and only reminded him from time to time that if he ever wanted to work things out, I'd be more than willing to. I'd be more than willing to and Ever. would be completely devoted to the process of him. You working. should have been completely devoted to the marriage process. Shots fired! Shots fired! You should have been faithful. You screwed it up. Here's my hot take. And let me know in the comments if you agree with this. A man can cheat on a woman and get back with her and they can... Everything's good. A man can be faithful again. Because it's in men's nature to be promiscuous. It's in men's nature to be, almost be polyamorous. We produce hundreds of millions of sperm per day, pretty much. And a woman produces one egg per month. Instinctually, biologically, it's her job to find the best fit for the best man and stay with him. Hold his baby for nine months and, ha- and be protected by this man. But as far as men goes, we can get ten pregnant women or ten women pregnant in the same night. 
Wouldn't that be a crazy night? A whole lot of single moms. <laughs> whole lot of single moms. <laughs> but no, I think a man can cheat on a woman and go back and be faithful to her. But I don't think a woman can cheat on a man and go back and be faithful to him. Let me know in the comments. Do you agree with that? That's my hot take of today's episode things out he even said some spiteful things during that month and distanced himself from me completely good during the second month there was a change as he began talking to me again we talked about the daily stuff and even watched movies together with the girls as a family i felt like he wanted to try reconciling and i was so happy i was thrilled that there might be some chance to save my family to save us. The thing is, if you just make the right decision the first time, you don't have to save anyone. Stupid. Eventually, through the next couple of days, I could sense us becoming friends all over again. He even invited me to sleep on the bed again. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, a betrayed spouse sent this story to me and told me that it was a proper atonement. Okay, so bear with me. Bear with me. A couple of weeks passed by and we were getting along even better than ever. We were spending time as a family again and had gotten closer with each other as well. I felt really good about the way things were going, but I wish I'd suggested marriage counseling. I just didn't want to pressure him and have him think that I wanted to sweep this situation under the rug or I was trying to influence him to not divorce me. One night we were drinking a bit, just talking in the bedroom, and I felt a genuine connection rebuilding. It felt like we were falling for each other all over again, and it made me so happy. This is the part I regret now. I decided to make a move on him and straddled him while we were laughing at a joke. We looked each other in the eyes so naturally. I began making out with him. It honestly felt like we were 20 all over again. He kissed me back as well, but after a while, he just started crying. He told me to stop and said that he couldn't. Because all we're thinking about is you did that to another guy. Shots fired! Shots fired! Jumped on me, straddled me, started kissing me. Like, we just imagine you doing that with Mark down the street. She's a runner, she's a track star. It's just how it is. It felt so awful because I felt like he wanted to, but didn't. Stop it. Get some help. Yeah. It's easy for her. Everything was going well, and she hadn't had to pay for what she did. Well, yeah, and that's the thing. She... <laughs> She'd been getting off pretty scot-free, to be honest with you. He'd been taking it easy on her and, you know, locked up during quarantine. It'd be like that. Guys get a little lonely. You got the kids there. He probably ain't got no other prospects right now. So it kind of makes sense that he would do that. But in the same breath, as soon as you hop on this man, he realizes, mm -mm, I'm not getting back into that. Think it wouldn't happen again if he's not around next time? At the same time, it broke my heart directly to see how badly my stupid decision had hurt him. I told him that I was sorry and we went to sleep. The reason I say I regret doing this is because I feel like this moment pushed him away forever. Uh. Two days later, he informed me that he wanted to go through with the divorce. Smart. He said that he just doesn't think he could make it work even after trying for the last two months. I wanted to fight with him about it, but I just told him I understood. We had already decided before that if a divorce was to happen, it would be on fair terms. Sure, we'd both have lawyers and we'd agree on a lot of stuff together. He wanted to take a two week trip, but he would come back to pick up the girls after his trip. We both mutually agreed that he'd split the time with his girls after his trip. They would spend half of the week with him and the other half with me. Ugh. I even helped him pack up his stuff and we finished. I just bawled my eyes out and we hugged it out. After his two week trip, he came back and it felt good seeing him again, but I knew it wasn't the same. Stupid. He just smiled and we made small talk before he took the girls. We're both really good parents and want the best for our kids. Today I got served divorce papers. Mm. It hurts so much to know that I lost my best friend because I was stupid. You were starved for attention. Starved. Okay, not stupid. Sometimes I roll over to his side of the bed in the morning and I hate how I don't feel his body there anymore. I miss his smell, his smile, his voice. I miss him filling up the entire room with his loud, adorable laughter. I miss him so much. The thing that hurts me the most is- You know what's crazy? Is while this woman is going- Loki, go to your place. Place. Hey, lay down. Gotta have discipline with these boys. Look at he's he's getting he's getting he's getting out of hand. This is what's so crazy to me through this entire apology that she's going through in this novella that she is writing. 
It's all me, 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 I, 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 my, my, my. None of it is geared towards what this guy actually thinks and what this guy is feeling. <laughs> my soundboard's a little delayed. <laughs> Let's try it again. There we go. Okay, good. It's all about her. The narcissistic, selfish, egocentric nature of her. Talking about, I feel this way, and I miss his smile, and I miss this, and I miss that. In no regard is she talking about what pain she's put this man through. This is why when another guy gave her attention, she bit on it. She just latched onto it like a freaking tick on a dog. Like a leech on a frog. Do, do, frogs, do frogs sit on leeches? <laughs> I don't even know if they do. <laughs> But notice, her entire apology is so selfish. It's all about me. And this is what a lot of these modern women do. Everything that happens to them, it's they just play the victim. It's the easiest card to play. This is why I say do not play the victim in anything that goes on in your life. Because as soon as you play the victim, you give up all of your power. Everything that's happened in your life is your fault. And a lot of people came at me in the comments when I said this months ago, and they're like, well, Levi, what if I was in a wheelchair and I was born this way? I completely understand. But the thing is, if you wake up every day with angst and anger in your heart that someone did that to you, you're going to be playing the victim. But as soon as you say, hey, you know what? It's my fault. I'm here now. I've got to, I've got to get past this. I've got to grow through it and I got to go through it. It is what it is. That allows you to have a growth mindset instead of a fixed mindset and you can get through things. It's just like I said, if I was, if I was sleeping at night and a tree fell on my house, that's my fault. Levi, how is it your fault? Thunder hit the tree and then it fell on your house. I decided to move here. Why would it not be my fault? I decided to pick this house by this tree. I decided to be sleeping here that night. It just, it takes all the responsibility and puts it on me and what can I do with that? I can take it and I can go somewhere with it. But if you just always play the victim, bro, like you're never gonna get anywhere playing the victim. And it's always it's somebody else's fault. It's, it's, it's the way I feel. And bro, stop it. All of this is knowing how badly I hurt the person I love the most. So many eyes. I, 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 I. What about him? I wish I could go back in time and undo what I did, but I can't. So now, here I am, writing about it on Reddit while crying <laughs> when there's nothing that I can do about it. I wish I could let him see him. I wish I could let him see for himself what I genuinely feel in my heart about how sorry I am and about how Were you I sorry when you straddled that other guy? Shots fired! Shots fired! Were you sorry when he was blowing your back out? When he was realigning your spine? Were you sorry then? Doubt it. I would be the most devoted wife ever if he just gave me another chance. You already had one chance! to let him know how much I love him and that I literally would do anything for him. I fucked up the most perfect thing that ever happened to me. I wish I could get him back so that, but I know that I lost him for good. Good. I am the one, the one, the one. Exactly, you weren't stupid. You just wanted to flirt with other men because a woman, even when married, Accepting that you are most likely going to be alone for the rest of your life is a really hard pill to swallow. I'll give you something hard to swallow, honey. <laughs> I'll give you something hard to swallow. <laughs> and it's not even because there's anything wrong with me or that I am not deserving. Y'all know what I think about deserving. You don't deserve nothing. What makes you so entitled that you think you deserve someone else's time, energy, and resources? You're entitled. I'm just tired. I've spent most of my life recovering from men who have caused so much trauma. You know what we call that? She's a runner, she's a track star. Recovering. <laughs> the streets are calling. <laughs> <laughs> Got you on speed dial. Brr, brr, you know what I mean? Good Lord. My, my physical brain, um, a CTE from all the back shots. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm on a roll today, I guess. Anymore, it is always in survival mode. It is always in fight or flight mode. My, my, my brain has never fully recovered from the trauma that has been caused. I meet guys and I feel like I'm constantly looking for a reason to not trust them. Yep, it's because you're Frankensteining. This is what we call Frankensteining in the industry, gents. She takes the trust of one man, thinks that's going to be the trust of the next man. And this is a quote from Kevin Samuel. Shout out to the um, the Godfather. Soundboard's not working. Thank God. There we go. Shout out to, to the Godfather here. But here's the quote. 
If you make the men of your present pay, th pay for the mistakes and trauma of the men of your past, there will be no future. If you make the men of your present pay for the mistakes and trauma of the men of your past, there will be no future. And this is what this woman is doing. She's making the next man pay for the debt of a past man. You're not going to have a future if you think every man is out there to do you wrong. You're never going to have a future with another guy because there, here's the thing. When a woman gets with a man, she needs to be open, she needs to be submissive, and she needs to be vulnerable. The more trauma you have, the less vulnerable you are because you've been hurt, you've been burned. Therefore, your walls are up even more. I mean, those walls have been, you know, kind of torn down a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But uh, <laughs> it is what it is. But the higher your walls are, the harder it is for someone to get close to you. And now she's Frankenstein. Well, Mark had good pain, and, and Jeff had nice legs, and well, well, Chris had a lot of money. And now she's looking for this amalgamation of all these men she's been ran through by, and it's not going to happen. And she's got a lot of trauma, you can tell. She's even said it. Because I have never experienced a good man before. Oh, you like, have. You just nexted him, honey. I have never been in a good, healthy relationship. I believe that. I don't even know what that looks like. I don't even know what to look for. I don't know what is normal. What is normal is you getting your back blown. That's what it is. This is what you've been working on so long. This is why you can't go, go, women can't go through a 304 phase. This is you. This is what you are. You're for the streets. Just keep being a runner. She's a runner. She's a track star. It's as simple as that. I've never experienced normal. How am I supposed to know? And now I'm 37 Oof. and every man that I meet is disappointing and doesn't add value to my life, doesn't make me happy. And I just don't want to. Don't expect somebody else to make you happy. This is why I say fall in love with yourself before you fall in love with anybody else. Just a 37 year old woman saying a man doesn't add value. Honey, you should be adding value to his life. You're past the wall. You're sprinting towards no man's land. What are you talking about? To settle anymore how do i know if someone is the one i mean is there something wrong with me i yes i question it all the time but i i know that i'm just fucking traumatized what does a loving man feel like none of them he feels like none of the men you've been with what does a healthy relationship feel like what does it feel like when you have found your person i I've been in so many relationships, long relationships, and no one has ever, ever added value to my life or made me feel like I was enough. Because it's not somebody else's job to make you feel like you're enough, stupid. Come on. Stupid. This is, what is this? This is like third grade stuff. Come on. This woman's 37? It makes me sad that I have never gotten to experience this. It genuinely makes me sad. And we don't feel bad for you because you had your shot and you blew it. But I just don't know if it actually exists. So I will probably be alone. Mm-hmm. You will and be. that, you that are. scares me, but I am slowly accepting that this is probably my fate. It is. And I need to learn to love myself, and I need to... Girl power. Tell myself that that is enough. Yeah. That go I don't sis. need a partner to be whole. There you go, And sis. that is my journey right now. Yeah. I'm not an expert. We know. I am not putting expert advice into the world. Nobody's this is taking just it. my journey and what I'm going through right now. And if you're going through the same, you're not alone. You are I don't alone. know, maybe that's my purpose. To learn to be on my own and let others know that it's okay. <laughs> Welcome to the <laughs> It's my job to be alone and let others know that it's okay to be alone. <laughs> these women, these women really do be thinking they the center of the freaking universe. Like other people watching this video, like, yes, queen, yes, <laughs> what? <laughs> hmm. But the thing is, I'm dating myself here, but I'm 33 years old. I know people my age that have never had a long relationship. They've never had a partner and they're going through life right now, solo dolo, and it's very lonely for them. It's very lonely. But the one common denominator I've seen from these girls online to even the girls I know that are single this age, they're extremely entitled, extremely selfish, and it's always somebody else's fault. They never take responsibility or accountability for what's going on in their freaking life. This is your life, not somebody else's. This is your freaking life. What are you talking about somebody else's fault? Where you are right now is an, is an amalgamation of all the, the choices you've made up until this point. Everything that's happened in your life, the common denominator is you, boo-boo. So it's safe to say it's your fault. I'm just saying, don't shoot the messenger. 
don't shoot the messenger. But and, and you know what I mean? Like I've seen women in this in the city. I've seen women in small towns, and they all think the same way. They're like, "Where's a where's a man that's gonna add value to my life? I just need someone that's deserving of my time. Deserving of what? You're ran. She's a runner. She's a track star. You've been through the streets." You got a high body count, a lot of trauma, and you want me to come up and pick up the pieces? I'm good. What happened to the good old days when a good old woman was a virgin when you met her? And she was quiet and submissive and knew how to cook and clean, and she had a good family unit. She was close to her mama. She was close to her daddy. She had a good family unit. And the thing is, is she knew how to take care of a man. She was fit, feminine, friendly, cooperative, submissive, no kids. She was quaint, uplifting, elegant, empathetic, and natural. What happened to these days? We have lost our way. We truly have. And it's quite sad, really. Because there's a lot of men out there that are extremely lonely as well. But the thing is, a lot of the men that are alone are actually worthy of a relationship. They love themselves and they're thriving alone. That's why the MGTOW movement is, is moving like hot fire, hot cakes right now, like a, a, a like, you know what I mean? It's, it's catching like a wildfire. Like, men are thriving alone. But the thing is, you ladies are more interested in people and men are more interested in things. This is why women go into fields where they, you know, meet with people more. Like most nurses are women social work women, hairdressers women, you know what I mean? Men go out there and work in the trenches by themselves. Underwater welding, men, plumbers, men, electricians, men, dominated, 98% bricklayers, men. We can do that stuff because we don't need to conversate. We don't need to be in air-conditioned buildings. We'll go do the grunt work. But you ladies need a soft job, deserving of your time. What are we gonna get? Do you have a cookbook? Do you have a cookbook? <laughs> If a girl ever says, like, I, I want a man that's, you know, it's going to add value to my life. Do you have a freaking cookbook? Name one recipe you can cook from scratch. Don't worry, I'll wait. I almost bet you it's nothing. What kind of value are you adding to a man? That's what we really want to know. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, man. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Go cop the ebook. It's in the description. The Four Pillars of Personality makes you irresistible to women and respected by men. And also, shout out to Morgan & Morgan. Uh, there, the link is going to be in the top of the description there. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I will see you guys tomorrow. Loki, did you have a good time? Did you have a good time? Let me know. <laughs> All right, I appreciate you guys, man. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.